Will they eat out of your hand? Today's their peas day. They get food. Regular food, which is vegetables. Which I'm not sure if they'll eat it out of my fingertips, but we'll check and see. You can train them to do that, you know. Come on over, guys. It's good. Put some food in there. If I move it like a, like a worm. <laughs> but you know how when I put the slide in there, they were kind of hesitant because of something new in there. But they know my hand. I put my hand in there all the time because I'm cleaning out the tank. So they shouldn't be afraid of it. I'll just keep really still and maybe they'll... Today I'm going to take part of the water out. I did it, didn't do it yesterday. I just do it every other day. I take about a quarter of it out and put fresh water in there with some of the um, vitamins in there. Not vitamins, but um, silk. It's for their skin stress coat. Come on, guys. She's, she smells it. She got that piece, but she didn't want to get it out of my hand. She's the one that really is brave. <laughs> There's more, guys. Come on. Come and have it. See, they're not too afraid because they'll come close enough. They just won't go to my hand right now. Just like my bird. She's sweet and everything, but she's like, maybe I set off a vibe that's like don't go near that lady because <laughs> she will yeah no she goes on my hand and eat food eats food out of my hand and stuff like that but she just won't come out of her cage come on come to the island there are some flowers and there is a piece of vegetable with the flowers right here in my fingers Come on, guys. It won't bite. It's not going to get you and fish for you and grab you. Although I'm sure they got some weird people that do weird things. There. We'll just put it in there. They're not going to do it today. Come back. They like the peas, though. That one is eating them all up. That's Coral. She will be, she's kind of greedy. She's the greediest one of all, all of them. There's, there's uh, Steve. Those are kind of big. You don't want to give them that big, but I didn't have a chance. See, look at her, globbled it up. I didn't have a chance to break it up because it fell out of my hand too quickly. But I cooked them. I think I cooked them a little bit too long. I started opening a little of the, the peas, but um, I probably should just put them in because the little one's not coming. Jaws isn't coming. I want them to all come and eat. They're afraid of my hand a little bit. So. We'll just throw them in. And like, subscribe, comment. You can say, oh, you're putting them too big. But I've been feeding my fish these peas for a while. And I will take suggestions. But I just try and break them up as small as I can. But um, they look little in my hand. I guess you can take your time and cut them up. But I don't cut them up. That's just the inside of the peas that they love. Don't give the outside because they won't eat that. They can't digest it. But they like them. They've liked these things for a while. Um, so. And that'll be gone. You see all that down there? Look at that. That'll be gone in a few minutes. 
seriously will because they love devouring these things. So that's probably all I'll give them for now. Oop. And now I'm going to take out some of the water. After I feed the peas, I usually try to feed them on the day that I change the water, part of the water, because then that way, you know, if there's anything left in there, you just kind of get it up. Um, there's Steve. They're just growing like a little puppy. I say puppy because puppies grow quick. I mean, these are growing like puppies. Jaws is way over there, but she's getting big. Let's see if we put it this way. Can you see a little bit better? Where'd you go, guys? Come and eat. See, they start at the other end and then they'll come back this way. gathered up over there. They're probably digesting. Yeah, so the peas, they help them along with the poop, you know, like when they have to, um, it keeps them from being constipated, vegetables and things, so you, especially those peas, if you feed them some of those periodically, they will have a good um, way to eliminate their waste and just make sure you <clears throat> scoop up the poop out of there every day a couple times a day because it does contaminate their water especially goldfish they really dirty up their water koi or I think those are the main ones that were really dirty up their tanks well the koi you're gonna put in the outside anyways most of them I'm pretty sure they have koi tanks but um, anyways they will dirty up the water really fast and um, it's contaminated and it can kill them. So scoop it up a couple times a day, however many times you want to do it. See poop in there, get it up. And they have knocked down their plant and I'll fix it up in a minute, just letting them eat. And then I'm gonna go in here and uh, get a fourth of the water out anyways. But they're enjoying themselves. They love their peas day. See them, they're eating it. That'll be gone, too. This is my suction. It's, an, it's, an, it's like a little quick suction for the tank. And I've got my water waiting, and I put some stress coat in there, little, few little drops. And I'm going to take a fourth of the water out, and then I put water back in. I just have it sitting here for a little bit. I'll use my other bucket that I skim and scoop with to um, put the, the water that I'm taking out in this bucket here. And then um, I add the rest. I add it back in here so that way they have a fresh tank. Hey Steve, hey Steve Harvey, Coral, and Jaws is back there. Wait till you see her come out. She's getting so big. Now we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. There, there they go. See up there? Go on, Jaws. She was so tiny before. She's trying to catch up with the other ones. That's probably why we call her that too, isn't it? But I will scrape the sides probably next time. Just try to let it build up a little bit of gunk so that it will give them their environment. And I'm gonna take something and kind of clean off the windows. But I'm letting it kind of build a little bit so it won't have too much fresh, fresh water where they don't like it. I want their environment to be them. Uh, anyways, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, any suggestions or whatever. We're gonna add some more things in here, not too many. But um, they're enjoying their little home. Um, 
Yeah, and they still got peas down there, but believe me, they will have them gone. I have, I'm a witness to it. <laughs> I've seen it. They just go over there and they kind of digest it, and then they'll be back. So we'll see you later on. I don't know if I'm going to do the mukbang today or not. Possibly. Um, possibly. I'm going to but look for that one because it's going to be some delicious tofu. Um, kind of like a pad thai type thing. So we'll see you later. Actually, I'm going to put the scarf on here later too. So look for quite a few videos coming up. Maybe three. Because this weekend I'll be pretty busy, but I will have videos coming up the next few days. So look for them, and we'll see you next time.